people like playing with me because I wear glasses and glasses make me look safe. It's just... <laughs> glasses and a cardigan? Oh my God. White folks love this look. <laughs> when I found out I was going west of Sepulveda, I went in the back of the closet like... <laughs> <laughs> they love this. I know what glasses make me look like. If I take my glasses off and look at everybody like this. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's this angry black guy that's on stage. But if I keep this face and put my glasses on, now I look like I'm thinking about something. <laughs> I don't know, I'm, 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 I'm still weird out here. I'm, I'm from the South. I'm, I'm, I'm from, I was born in Arkansas, raised in St. Louis. Yeah. Would you, why? <laughs> See, I didn't know about a lot of things growing up until I moved to like California. Like I didn't know what an albino was growing up. <laughs> Have y'all seen an albino? Yeah? Huh. yeah? yeah. Dead, like in, in real life? <laughs> Have y'all ever felt an albino skin? No one ever has. <laughs> oh my God, let me tell you. I felt it one time and it was, it's glorious. It's very velvety. It's soft, it's smooth. Like every time you rub an albino skin, a butterfly gets its wings. This is I didn't know. I didn't know that it was a loss of melanin and you know the pigment is gone. Like I grew up with a black mom. So I would hear things like, boy, if you don't get your act together, I will slap the black off you. <laughs> Sit down before I slap the black. Boy, if you don't, if you act up one more time in class, I swear like, I will slap the black off you. <laughs> so in second grade, when I saw my first black albino, I was like, that's a bad fucking kid right there. <laughs> 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 what did you do <laughs> to have your mama slap the black <laughs> off you? What? Oh, and your name Tyrone? It didn't make sense. <laughs> I'm black. I'm like, where? <laughs> like, if you've seen an albino, they kind of look like Skittles with the flavor sucked off. <laughs> I was listening to, I'm gonna say his name wrong, the last comic. And he was talking about going to, he's like, you know, in Starbucks, you say this name, yeah. I was like, dang, you know what's interesting? Like, here's how I get free Starbucks all the time. I will go to Starbucks and, you know, he asks you for your name and I'll tell them in my best African accent, I'm like, my name is Negus, <laughs> which stands for African Kings. They're like, what? How, how do you spell it? I'd be like, N-E-G-U-S. <laughs> There's nothing funnier than seeing your latte get made and it gets to the very end and there's this scared white person that's like, I got a latte for Neek. Mm. <laughs> And if you've ever been to Starbucks, there's only one black person in there at a time, so this... <laughs> and I'd be like, doo, 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 doo. <laughs> And this Christmas will be very... <laughs> and just make them say it. Is there a nigga? <laughs> and all the white people go, oh my God, what the fuck? Why she call him a nigga? Why she just didn't say the name that's on the top? <laughs> this is how I grew up. You know why else I like wearing cardies? I, I kept my drink and hit the hose. <laughs> This is a utility card. <laughs> one of one. <laughs> it's
It's interesting there. It is. I grew up, I raised my son. I, my son turned 20 years old uh, a few months ago. And don't, no, don't do that. <laughs> I hear you. I can hear you. <laughs> no, I have, very first time I ever had sex, I knocked up a lesbian that wanted to try out me. <laughs> Tenth grade. Very first time. Not like the cheerleader lesbian either. Like me and my baby mama both look handsome at prom. Like. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's 20. He's 20. I was there the entire time. It was so, like, my son now makes more money than me because, like, he does crypto. He's one of those crypto people. He follows it when it goes up. He'll bang. Nah, nah, nah. Like, during the pandemic, my son was making maybe like $250,000 a year doing crypto. Like, and I still got to pay child support on my son till he turns 21. <laughs> I was borrowing money from my son to pay child support on him. <laughs> ridiculous. He doesn't respect me as a father. He doesn't. We grew up together. We, I was in high school when I had him and all of that. Like, here's how I knew my son didn't respect me as a father. So maybe like four months ago, I was at his mom's house and I just surprised my son because we got that kind of type of friendship. And I was like, hey, what's up, Malcolm? He said, ah, because I jumped in his room. <laughs> and I caught my son watching porn. And he was freaking out. He was like, ah, ah. He slams the laptop shut. He looks sober and sees that it was me and says, oh man, I thought you was mama. <laughs> and lifts the laptop <laughs> back up to continue to watch the porn. And I was like, Malcolm, why are you not tripping that eye? Your father just caught you watching porn. He's like, dad, it's Big Booty's three. I said, nigga, they came out with a third? <laughs> Scoot over. <laughs> Hey, y'all, thanks for listening to my craziness. My name is Willie Mack. Thank you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Joe.